Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Michaela. Hey girl, hey. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys exactly how I was filming my YouTube videos before I got this new camera um, on my iPhone 6s that ended up being really great for starting out on YouTube. And so, you don't have to spend, you know, an enormous amount of money to with a giant camera and audio systems and lights and all that to get started. You really just have to use what you have. And I'm going to show you guys the little things I did pick up to make my audio and quality just better for actually buying this new camera that you are seeing now. Okay, so don't forget to hit that subscribe button, get this video a big thumbs up, and let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. But, so the first thing that I was using is the iPhone 6s, which is here. Of course, I was... I did not buy this phone when it first came out. I believe I got it about a year and a half ago. So I think the iPhone 7 was actually coming out when I got this phone. But this phone does great video, great audio. You don't really need a lot to make it even better than what you already have. And most people already have a phone, which is really great to make your YouTube videos. Whether that be your iPhone, your Samsung, um, whatever you're using, as long as it has a good video good camera then that's what you can use of course I will recommend that you use the front camera because that's going to be the better option just for the video um, but you can use your front I was using the front and that worked out just fine for me you do want to make sure you take off the flash and there is a self timer so if you want to self time yourself what I was using was actually a shutter remote um, that way I could start the video when I was already in focus and in the spot that I want it to be in. So this is the little little guy here. It attaches to your phone via Bluetooth. So it doesn't require any you know connections or anything like that. So I put this on and that way you can start the video um, without actually having to touch your camera and mess up the angles and lighting and all that good stuff. And then you can also stop it. And this is really great if you also want to take little selfie photos or things like that um, that you don't want your hands to be in front of and just be a little bit more hands free and I believe I got this on Amazon for like five dollars or something so really inexpensive and it was really useful um, the next thing I'm going to recommend of course is the tripod and this little iPhone stand those everything I'm about to show you today is from Amazon there you can probably get everything I'm showing less than 40 bucks, 50 bucks. So very inexpensive and like I said, most people already have a phone so you don't need to go out and buy a new phone. Just use whatever you have. So I got this little tripod um, for like 16 bucks, 19 bucks, something like that. And then this little iPhone stand for six bucks or something like that. So what she'll do is actually, this little guy right here is a little screw. And so you'll just lift it up and then you'll actually spin this part on top, which I'm not going to do that just because I'm not. So you'll spin it up top and it'll connect like that. And then you'll end up just putting your phone right here. Of course, if you're doing YouTube videos, you want it to be horizontal and not vertical. But if you're taking selfies or things for Instagram, then the vertical option is available. It just spins um, in the back so you can do that. And then you can just tighten your phone in there. And there you go. You'll be hands free. You can take your videos and no one will know that you're using your phone. Of course, the next best thing, of course, is the audio. That is the biggest deal breaker for most people is lighting and audio, to be honest. So your iPhone and the Samsung Galaxy do have a really good built-in audio system, but of course sometimes you want your voice to be more projected or if you just speak really quiet and low and content, then you might want to boost it up your voice. So I definitely recommend going ahead and investing in a mic. Um, so this is that little guy right here. You just plug this into your phone where you plug your headphones in if you have the new phone. Not sure what to do for you guys, but this is plug into your microphone, your headphone little jack, and then you just clip this on. Of course, you want to clip it outside the frame, um, and then it'll pick up all the audio. The thing is that with this though, it does pick up every little movement. So if you're unwrapping packages from fashion videos or things like that, it will it will catch up on it, and it'll be really noticeable and really loud. So I don't recommend doing that, of course, but. 
getting a good audio system is definitely recommend to make your videos look more professional and look like you have your life together and who does not want to make their life look together so as you can see and i think that mic was also five dollars so it's really easy to just start making youtube videos you honestly do not need to go out and invest in the 2000 you know equipment on lights videos camera you really don't need to do that if you want to and you have the money for that by all means do that but if you don't just go ahead and use your phone and the biggest tip that anyone is ever going to give you about how to start a youtube channel is really just starting starting anything is the hardest thing that anyone can do is taking that leap of faith into doing something new and adventurous and just putting yourself out there to the world so by all means just go out there film some videos and upload to youtube and see how you like it if you enjoy it and you are growing then by all means invest in the camera like I did if not and you don't like it then you didn't spend any extra money or lose a couple thousand dollars on equipment for something you don't like and aren't going to use anymore so that's just my biggest tip of course leave all your tips down below for any other youtubers and let me know what are some other tips that you guys like to do to film your videos on your iPhone so that is the end of my video. I hope that you guys really enjoy this video and learn something new today. And let me know what kind of videos you want to see next. Do you like these little tech talks and little advice videos that I film just to help anyone else trying to make YouTube videos? Or if you like more curly hair fashion videos and you're like, Michaela, just shut up about all that. I just want the fashion and all that sort of thing. Then just let me know because I want to know what videos you guys want to see and what you guys like to watch. So, as always, stay beautiful, stay unique, and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!